thing I love about the craft is you can put a modern take on it, but it's a very, very ancient art, so it's beautiful in that way. WA artist Vaughan Bishops is one of the few people in Australia still practising an ancient craft of making stained glass windows. The most fascinating thing about stained glass, and one of the things that really captivated me, was every technique and all the paints, the brushes, everything you use is exactly the same as it was over a thousand years ago. There's nothing that's been made, man-made, that can actually do a better job. So it's not like one of those arts that has become faster, quicker, more efficient. It's exactly the same as it was back all that time ago. Vaughan has been hired to restore windows at a cathedral in Geraldton, which were almost completely destroyed by vandals. And the extent of the damage for one of them was so bad that we decided to, you know, remake the windows. When I discovered I had the opportunity to possibly do some of my own work, in, in this cathedral, I was absolutely thrilled. I wanted them to feel Australian because we live here in Australia and I want to recognise the Aboriginal culture and our hot climate, our beautiful skies, our amazing oceans, so that maybe they won't get as vandaled as much because, you know, people look at them and go, they are us, they're, they're a piece of us, rather than something that's been imported. The cathedral, the school, the ship that she came across on apparently. Believe it or not, in my early years I was a chef and um, it was quite a stressful job and stained glass was a form of um, relaxation, it was a hobby and something I really loved. So that's basically how it got started. And there, there isn't a lot of professional career paths in it because it's a dying art. So yeah, a lot of people sort of start like that or start in their backyard. Nothing can be rushed about this because it's either right or it's not right. And back a hundred years ago, or longer, um, when these windows were flooding through churches, basically they had a, a team of probably 10 or 12 guys. So there was the artist that draw, drew it, there was the painter who only painted on glass, there was only one artist that would do hands and faces, which are the most important. And then all the background was done by some of the less significant artists in the studio because no one focuses on that. Whereas now, um, I basically work by myself. So I do everything from the drawing, the leading, the painting, the cutting, um, and install and removal of windows. And there's a whole different skill set in painting on glass. So that artist that does something on paper doesn't work on glass. It's a different skill set. You can easily see a window that's been rushed through to pay the bills. I think it's an extremely shrunken industry and it's just shrinking, but I think there'll always be people that'll be really inspired by it. There's hours and hours and hours. There's months of work that's gone into these windows. I'll redo something as many times as it's needed if it, in, making sure that I feel it's right, or the best that I can possibly do, rather than just go, well, it's good enough, let's get it in and get on with the next job. So as long as there's people around like that, I think the art, the art will, and there are people like that, so.